Welcome to the Nightly Rant. I'm Mike. And I'm Toria. This is the show where we talk about the awful things that have happened in our day, the awesome things that have happened in our day, and all the things in between. Thanks for listening, and we truly hope you enjoy. You know, it's been a while since I've come to one of these sessions feeling the way that I feel right now. You feeling a little ranty? Man, am I ever. Well, one of the hashtags I do use on Instagram is hashtag get ranty. <laughs> That's a funny one. I like it. Mm -hmm. But what I don't like is liars. And we have encountered quite a few of those lately. This is correct. <laughs> Like, more than the usual buttload. Yep. It's been like an elephant's buttload. And you know, it just dawned on me that I'm not going to address specifics about these points, but I am going to point something out. Uh-huh. I couldn't understand why, and I often get accused of not being able to let go of a situation. Okay. And especially in this situation, it really concerned me because I couldn't let it go. Okay. So I wanted to figure out, was it because I couldn't let it go because that's just me and I'm going to chase and chase and chase and chase? Mm hmm Or what is it? So what is it? The reason is, <laughs> there's a cat. On the table. On the table. Stop it, you fascist cat. She's after my unbeliefing, believable leaf. Yeah, I saw that. Okay, so. So why is it 180 degrees different? That's not what you wanted to say. Hold on. So what did you figure out? Well, I figured out that it isn't about not being able to let it go. It's about when something is so far removed from anything that I would ever do that I feel like this need that I have to, like, disavow myself from that at all costs. Right. And so in dealing with this situation, even right now, I really want to let it rip. But I realize that, like, totally letting it rip with, like, actual details... Is just detrimental to the situation. Well, yeah. I mean, we we kind of talked about this earlier. In a situation when you're when you're when you're talking to a lunatic, the more the more details you give, the more lies they'll come up with. Correct. And it's very difficult to change things up when all you say is. Um, you're lying or right. that's completely different than the way I saw it. You know, it's a lot different than saying you're lying because blah, 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 X, Y, Z, one, two, three. And you give them details. Well, now mm -hmm. they can weave in their own details. Exactly. And then people have a hard time deciding who's telling the truth. Well, and the, you're, you're exactly right because they'll weave in details that actually fit with the real truth and don't make the real truth sound like... Right, because they've got an advanced preview of what it looks like. Right. So, that's what gets me, is I don't like letting things go when I've been put in a wrong way, or to use a term, false light. I don't like it. <laughs> it's making you feel some type of way? It's pissing me off. It's <laughs> making me really angry. Mm. But... I've learned through this campaign that you take that anger and you channel it in another direction that's more productive. Which is kind of what you're doing. Exactly. I mean, you've, you've decided some pretty cool things in the last two days and made some pretty cool decisions. Yes. So, decisions that won't be revealed for a while. They're Toria-only information at this point. <laughs> Correct. 
one other person in the world knows besides me, and that's you. Am I the only one with the security clearance? Correct. I have bad news. Unrelated to the security clearance, bad news. Mm-hmm. The hockey game ended. Oh, I already know that. Oh. Just vibrated my phone. Oh, well. Oh, well. They literally got swept. Mm-mm. They won the first game. That's not a sweep. And then they lost four in a row. They literally got swept. I thought swept meant you didn't win any. That's actually swept. I'm saying they were literally swept. Kind of like what happened to Winnipeg. I feel yes. your pain. Yes. <laughs> Feels a little salty, doesn't it? They fell apart at the end, man. <laughs> it's pretty sad. Must have been tired. It was a long season. But, you know, I was pulling for them because it was their first ever season. Mm -hmm. And they pulled an amazing feat by getting this far. I would have to say that they're going to be an early favorite for next season based on how so. they played. Um, I would think Winnipeg will be an early favorite next year as well. And exactly. And if those two teams make a couple of good moves, look yeah. out. Very proud of how both of them played this year. <clears throat> so, season's over. Oh, well. But that doesn't change the fact that people who lie <laughs> and make it such an extreme. Like, man, if you want to lie about me, get to know me a little bit. And then just modify what I'm normally like just a little bit. Seriously. To make me look bad. Don't be like, oh, I, I, I know this little tiny bit about him. He's He likes to go in, in the 100 direction, so I'm going to make it the 1,000 direction. Well, T-Mobile just called me Tanya. Anyway. <laughs> T-Mobile can't read. Um, it would not be hard to spend a little bit of time talking to somebody figure out what their not-so-hot quality is, and just, like, exploit the shit out of it. Exactly. It's why we took our circle of friends, and <clears throat> we didn't restrict it. That had been a thought at one point, but it would have been too hard because there was plenty of people I trusted. Mm -hmm. So instead, we were just open with people we wanted to be open with. And felt we could one million percent trust. And we were still open, but more guarded with other people. Exactly. And I think that's fair. Do you see anything wrong with that? No. I mean, I can just hear it now. Oh, but I thought you were about transparency. So how could you ever keep anything? Well, see... I feel like it's like this. If you start out at the lowest level and you say you witnessed a crime and you say it was a man uh -huh. with clothing on. That's so That's like a very vague description. That's right? quite literally 94% of men right. in the world right now. Right. So if you start there and you start adding things to it, well, it's a... Latin man wearing a brown button down shirt and neon and, pink jeans and neon pink jeans that's with, pretty freaking descriptive with neon green shoes that's like the other this, how many of those dudes are you going to find out there like seriously those pants though no you're not going to find <laughs> I mean like seriously the pants you'd go okay who sells those pants in town oh it's these two stores guarantee you it's not more than that because all these trendy you things. think there's two stores that sell hot think pink about jeans? It. Think about it. There might be. Think about these trendy stores. They always have their main store and their competitor. Come on. These trendy stores are like okay. that. So they got their main store and they got their competitor. All right. So it, it that stuff drives me crazy trying to figure out. So you just let it go. There's only certain things that you fight to the death for. Right. And those are things that are like your core values. So when someone says, oh, you stole money, you're going to vehemently defend yourself. Or that you abuse women or yes. that you abuse children or any You're going to vehemently like... defend yourself on things that are so far away from your moral standards. Well, and I think that's... You had a situation a while back where somebody accused you of being abusive towards women... 
and against local businesses. Now, anybody who knows you knows that the chances of you smacking a woman are zero. Yes. And that you're extremely supportive of small businesses. Well, and correct. And that's why, like, in that situation, you don't feel the need. But, like, I'm going to tell you that I feel like when I got approached on this, mm-hmm. um, the attitude was like, hmm, that person didn't really, they painted the light of who they felt I was mm-hmm. before they knew who I was. So, like, they had already decided that I um, was a certain way, and they painted me in that light first, and then they built their narrative to fit that. Does that make sense? Yes. So, she literally said, you're, um, you know, you have low moral standards. Like, literally said that. I know, but I I remember that that situation is really what started. Well, and then to back up her claim Mm -hmm. that I have low moral standards, she takes screenshots of conversations and pulls out two or three words and says, he said this. Yeah. Or like the one that was like probably five paragraphs long and she basically toned it down to, we will agree to disagree. Was that in there? was Was that in there? Yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. But there was a lot of caveats in there. It was there the last you line of basically an entire yeah. angry essay. Yeah, we've just done all this stuff. So if we can't agree now, well, then we're going to have to agree to disagree. It took you like 40 and, minutes to type that and entire And that post. also kind of proves a point. A bully isn't going to say, hey, let's just agree to disagree. Mm-hmm. A bully's going to find a way to get you to listen to him and do what he wants. Right. Or she. That's a bully. You know, I was called a bully today. Yeah, you told me this. And I thought that I was going to be more harassed after I responded the way that I responded. I just asked a question. What exactly about this makes me a bully? And then I posted the Google definition of the word bully. And it had three points in it that makes a person a bully that I cannot remember right now. I don't feel like looking up. But then I, one, two, three, addressed those three points and how, like... I am not trying to force another person to bend to my will or do something for me. That was one of them. And she was like, well, I guess you're not a bully then. I was like, well, that was better than I expected. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that means that that person was reasonable and honest. I know. That's the key. Like, like, you know what? (laughs) We can all do things on our own to other people, whatever, that... At the time, you think is a good thing, but then the other person's reaction immediately tells you, oh, God, I screwed up. Right. And you got to fix that by apologizing and, you know, softening your blow that you hit them with a little Mm -hmm. bit. Um, Because some people, everybody has their own boundaries, Right. And unless you know 100% what the other person's boundaries are, it's pretty easy to overstep those boundaries. Exactly. You're not saying anything tonight. I keep throwing ideas at you, and you just say, yup. I'm being right. a dude from Storage Wars. Yup. Exactly. <laughs> that's right. Uh huh. Oh, boy. Come on. Give me something here, really, woman. You were the really ranty one. I was letting you know oh, the whole shit. floor. Oh, shit. Boy, was I ranty. I'm still ranty. Look at the dog. I have precisely one thing I want to say. Go for it. But I was saving it for the end. Say it now. We're close to the ending. Why is it every time we have a podcast guest, their name rhymes? That's right. We had Tina. Tina and, and Gina. Gina. And now, now we're going to have to restrict our freaking podcast guests, and they're going to have to rhyme with They're going to have to have, like, Gina. Regina... So, <laughs> Wilhelmina. I'm going to give you all the names of the people who have come to our podcast. Exactly. So you either have to give us a fake name. But we've unfortunately run out of men. I guess the men are going to have to pick a female name and tell us that's what their name is. <laughs> you identify as that. Who are we to say? It's true. And that's not a joke. FYI. Who are we to say? We don't know you. 
You're a random person. So if you tell me your name is, you know, whatever, <laughs> we our only rule is it has to rhyme with Tina and Gina. So if you know if you're gonna try to come and tell me your name is William, well, <laughs> doesn't rhyme with. He's gonna have to go by Wilhelmina. Tina and Gina. So you'd have to come That's with Wilhelmina. There you go. <laughs> See, make up a name that works. It's okay. We get it. If as long as you identify with that name and you feel that's your name, mm-hmm. we're good. Because who are we to complain? It's so, not our place. You know the issue we're having with our phones earlier? Yes. Where we couldn't turn that feature? Yes. In? Well, so I'm talking to T-Mobile support. Yes. And I get, I know that it's important to use this, this to be able to use this feature, so I totally get it. I use this quite a bit as well. Now, I'm having this very same issue. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! So it means that the carrier update that happened recently fucked the phone up. This the person saying it's the new uh, the newest iOS eleven update, but I haven't updated. I haven't updated you. it either. But so maybe it's been since the last update. Because my bet is you're on eleven point three point one as well. Because that's Props. the second most recent one. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> so. This person understands our plight, and the feature is legitimately broken. <laughs> what well, was so weird let me explain to people so like you know in your in your phone if you wanted to like call back a scammer or whatever you're allowed to block your caller id for like even when you're doing like phone banking for the campaign we blocked our caller yeah. id so people that way people can't back. just call you back because that's not what you want you want to direct the calls where you want them to go right so so you, you, that feature we tried the toggle's so, great. We out. tried today and it looked like it was okay. And then we test called you and my number was displayed because you can't hit the toggle anymore. It's like locked. Well, what was really interesting is initially when you were having the problem, I checked on my phone and it was like the toggle was green. Okay, like it's supposed to be. We have an iPhone. And then I went, I like a closed settings and all that stuff. And then I went back in to look again to show you that mine was green. And it was no longer green. Well, exactly. And here's the thing. Like, as I think about this, this has to be at least one version older problem than we're at right now. It had to have appeared one version ago. Because we didn't have the problem. We didn't really do anything. And now all of a sudden we have the problem. I don't understand that. It's either from a carrier update or it's 11. It has 11. to be. 11.3.1. It has to be. Something but I haven't done an broken. actual phone update in forever. Yeah. That's why I don't get it. This cat is enormous. I don't see... I don't see how <sighs> they play it that way. But I always do the carrier updates right as soon as they come out. Because yeah. they're carrier updates and I like my service to continue working properly. Right, right. Until now! That's one of the things I wonder about with Alyssa, with her text messaging issues. Maybe she doesn't hasn't done the carrier updates. It's possible. Because that would mess with your inter-system functionality. Mm-hmm. In network would have been a better word. So. <laughs> there, know. I said things. Now quit your judgment of my lack of saying things. See this? See this face right here? See, I'm holding up. Describe this face to them. It looks constipated. Yeah, he looks like he's, he's pushing way too pushing hard. Pushing way too hard. <laughs> That's how you're making me feel. <laughs> What's the other side look like? Blank stare. There's no face at all. It's exactly. just the back of the head. It's talk to the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> or. Push harder. Which do you prefer? Back of the head. Push harder. Push harder. Or back to the head. Push harder. Stop back it. Back to the head. This is a weird conversation. <laughs> I don't want to be part of this anymore. <laughs> Which one do you prefer? I don't prefer either. <laughs> but you have to pick one. It's mandatory I'm or you die. Proof. It's mandatory or you will die. Well, then I guess I know what I'm doing tonight. No dying. Not allowed. (laughs) So, pick one. Push. (sighs) Back of the head. No. So, push. No. You said no to back of the head. You can't have a no on both. You got to say yes on one of them. I refuse to vote. Okay, then I'll vote for you. No. I didn't say you could vote for me. I said I I refuse to vote. I get proxy if you refuse to vote. (laughs) That's how it works. Don't you know any good government crafts their law in such a way that uh, they're going to get control? So that's why you have to be prepared for that Governments as a citizen. Are dicks. Nah. That's why you have to be prepared for that as a citizen. 
because that's exactly what they do. They said, look at the campaign rules. It seems to me like there's some weird stuff that goes on there where, I mean, not, it is not clear what happens if you choose to never run for office again. It is not clear what it happens It is not to clear what happens to that money. Nobody just seems to know, it. Nobody seems to know the answer. So my suspicion is the state has their finance committee, whatever, and I suspect that they just hold that money. Now, I'm not saying they take it and spend it, but I'm saying it just becomes like if ever, like 10 years down the line, you decided to run for office again, you could pull it back out. That would be interesting. Interesting concept. And if that was the case where you could just let them hold on to it and pull it back out later, not a bad thing either. Right. Then it wouldn't be a bad thing. But I suspect that it's not that good. So It is the government of California. So, anyway... That's my rant. I ranted hard today. And I, I told about- you from the very beginning that I had that kind of feeling. <laughs> and you, you had like your mini rant. About T-Mobile? Yes. It's not T-Mobile's fault this time, though. I think no. it's Apple's fault. Yeah. It dicks. I think it's funny when you said and then they said, and I know how important that feature is, and I use it myself sometimes. The only problem is uh, you no longer can. <laughs> That was funny. That I made do, me laugh. I have one recommendation for all of you people out there who are T-Mobile customers. Never, ever, 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 ever call T-Mobile support. They're yeah. useless. They are a giant, colossal bag of crap. However... But their Twitter people are awesome. They're fabulous. Their Twitter people are just A-plus, stand-up, awesome, hilarious people. They've, and they've solved every problem we've presented to them. Every time. And it's way faster. If I would have actually answered that on time, they tweeted me back less than five minutes. Well, that's because on a phone call, you can't talk to multiple people at a time because they don't know who you're talking to. But when you're on a chat, you can talk to a hundred people at a time and no one would know the difference. And they, when different people message you, they have a, like a signature on the end of the message. So you can tell Uh when you're talking to like four or five different people. But the point is, four or five different people can tag team on that. And exactly. And get it taken care of. Yep. It's a hell of a lot easier. And if you're really good, maybe you can hold six people at a time. If you're just medium good, you know, you hold four or maybe three at a time, well, et cetera. Did, their support is absolutely phenomenal on Twitter. So if you're a T-Mobile customer, do the Twitter. It's way, mo- way more effective and you don't have to sit on hold. I definitely agree. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's it, that's all. All right. Good night, everyone. Hasta la bye bye. Hi, everyone. This is Mike, and I truly hope you enjoyed the show. You're able to subscribe to this show on iTunes, Google Play, and Stitcher so as to never miss an episode. If by chance you did miss an episode here or there, you can catch up on all shows, past and present by heading over to yogispodcastnetwork.com forward slash TNR show. Thanks for listening.